Judge Charles Schwab says that people are receiving their jury summons and instead of responding or showing up here to the courthouse, they're simply throwing it away like a piece of trash and that's causing them legal trouble as well as causing problems here for the judicial system. Jury duty. It's a role many people only have an idea from the movies, meaning a lot of misconceptions. A lot of people don't know what to expect. Going into the judicial system in any form is usually intimidating. And that fear of the unknown can combine with a busy schedule. Sole proprietors of businesses, work-related issues, care issues, either elderly folks and or their children, losing money from work. And that can lead people to playing hooky from answering their jury summons at all. It's an issue Chief Judge Charles Schwab keeps having in his courtrooms. One in five people answer their subpoena sometimes. Over the past few years, that's been a growing problem in the 19th Judicial Circuit, as well as all over South Florida. And fewer people showing up could not come at a worse time. We're approximately 10,000 cases above normal. Now, 10,000 cases above normal crosses four counties. It's the entire 19th Circuit, so Indian River, Martin, St. Lucie, and Okeechobee counties, and covers all divisions. The pandemic shutdowns have the justice system backed up all over the state. If the jurors don't show up to go ahead and take care of these cases, then we're left in, in some degree of, well, how do people resolve disputes? Not only are disputes not solved, tax dollars are wasted on summoning the jurors, attorney fees getting ready for a trial that's then postponed, and so on. So delinquent jurors can be punished according to the money and the time they've wasted. If you simply don't respond, you fail to go ahead and give any information at all, you don't call, you don't write, you don't send flowers, statutorily the penalty on those is a fine of not more than $100 and or contempt of court, contempt of court, meaning up to six months in county jail. But that's not the route Judge Schwab is trying to take. Instead, him and St. Lucie clerk Michelle Miller want people to realize jury duty isn't a particularly lengthy or painful process. Right. Normally, juries selected will um, run for one day, sometimes two days. We have a vending service right outside the jury room, so you can go grab a fresh salad or a sandwich or whatever it is. We try and make it as comfortable as possible. And there are ways to legally get out of jury duty or at least post it. Yes, there are statutory uh, reasons to be excused from jury service. They're actually on your summons, but there are other things that we take into consideration. We understand how jury service impacts everybody. You just have to give notice, or you could be dealing with the other side of the judicial system. Don't just ignore the subpoena, because then it leads to more use of your time in the form of, look, now you got to come to court to answer why you didn't respond to the subpoena. If you do show up for jury duty, even if you don't actually serve on the jury, you are not going to be summoned again for at least another year. Reporting in Fort Pierce, Madeline Montgomery, CBS 12 News.